While Meredith lives among his memories of happy school days, suppose we continue with our study of child life. Here she is, that little decoy for a nervous breakdown, Fanny Bryce as Baby Snooks. <laughs> Last week, Daddy, played by Hanley Stafford, became the proud father of a lovely boy. Naturally, he's all wrapped up in the little one, but Snooks seems to feel that the newcomer has usurped her place in Daddy's affections. She's been acting strangely all week, and as the scene opens, Daddy is putting Snooks to bed. Here they are. All right, dear. Now say your prayers, and I'll turn out the light. I ain't gonna say no prayers. Oh, but Snooks, you must say your prayers. Can I leave out the baby? Why, of course not. Then I ain't gonna say no prayers. <laughs> now look here, child. You don't know how you're hurting me by acting this way. I can't understand why you've been so sullen since the baby came. I don't like him. Well, why not? He hollers too much. Why, of course he cries a lot, but that's only his way of letting us know that he wants something. Well, why don't he ask for it? Oh, Snooks, you know as well as I do that infants can't talk. Why? Because no baby talks until it's at least a year old. That ain't what you said to Uncle Louie. What did I say to Uncle Louie? You said you cursed the day you was born. Well, never mind that. Now, I want you to say your prayer. There he goes again, Daddy. Well, Mummy will look after him. Little Dickens is probably hungry. Where did he come from, Daddy? I told you, the angels in heaven sent him down. Why? Oh, they had their reasons. I guess they couldn't stand that racket. <laughs> I wish you'd stop that silly talk. The child is adorable, and you'll soon get to love him. Don't you think he's awful cute to look at? No. Well, why do you say that? He looks like a lobster. <laughs> well, he is a little red, but all new babies look that way. Anyway, the redness will soon disappear. Will the baby disappear? <laughs> now, if I can help it. Oh. Uh, Daddy. What is it? Is only baby's face is red. Oh, no. Sometimes grown people's faces get red. Why? Oh, for various reasons. Mostly, a person's face turns red when, when he's ashamed. Does it? Yes. Why does Uncle Looney, Uncle Louie only get ashamed in his nose? Well, we won't discuss that now. It's time for you to go to sleep. Now, kiss me good. Snooks, what are you doing? I'm doing nothing, Daddy. You're biting your nails. I told you I don't like that habit. Why? Because it's not nice. Now, you stop it, you hear me? I don't want to. Oh, maybe you'd like a spanking. You hate me, don't you, Daddy? Oh, what are you talking about? If I bite my nail, you spank me. Well, what about it? But if that new kid sticks his whole foot in his mouth, you think it's cute. <laughs> oh, what ridiculous nonsense. Now, just listen, Snooks. You've simply got to get over this jealousy. I ain't jealous. Yes, you are. No, I ain't. You are! <laughs> what are you crying about? I don't know. <laughs> well, all right, now. Be a good little girl and go to sleep, and Daddy will always love you. All right, Daddy. Good night. Good night. Daddy? Yes? Why are you all dressed up? Well, I've been invited over to the MGM studios to see a picture. What picture? It's a private showing of The Wizard of Oz. I've got to leave right away. I want to go with you. Well, you can go with me, Snooks. But if you promise not to interrupt, I'll tell you the story very quickly. I promise, Daddy. Very well. Once upon a time, there was a little girl who lived in Kansas, and her name was Dorothy. She lived with her... Who uh, lived? Dorothy. She lived Dorothy with her... Dorothy who? Just Dorothy. And she lived with... Her aunt and her uncle. <laughs> uncle Louie? No, Uncle Henry. Her aunt's name was M, and her uncle's name was Henry, and she lived with them. Now, she was just a little... Who was? The little girl. Which little girl? The little girl in the story! What story? The Wizard of Oz! Uh... Now, don't ask any more questions. I'll be late for the picture. Now, this little girl, Dorothy, lived with her aunt and her uncle. Why? Because her parents died when she was a child and left her an orphan. What did she do with it? What did she do with what? The orphan. She was the orphan. Who was? Dorothy! Huh? Dorothy loved her uncle very much because he gave her a dog called Toto. He was black all over. Her uncle was black? No, her dog. One day, there came a big cyclone, and Aunt Em... Oh, what's a cyclone, Daddy? You know what a cyclone is, Snooks. What is it that comes very suddenly, 
turns the whole house upside down and leaves nothing but trouble in its wake. A new baby. Ah, no. It's a big windstorm. Now, when the cyclone struck, Dorothy didn't have time to get to the cellar. So she was swept away in the house with Toto. And she was carried... Who to... was carried? Dorothy. She was carried... Oh, where's the wizard? I'm coming to him if you'll just be patient. She was carried to the land of the munchkins. What's munchkins? They're very little people. Am I a little munchkin? No. no. <laughs> well, I'm little, ain't I? Listen, you can be little without being a munchkin. But you can't be a munchkin without being little. Why? Because munchkins are born little and they stay little. Children are born little and they grow up to be big. Big munchkins? No, big people. <laughs> will I grow up to be big? Certainly you will. Big again, Sophie? Yes! <laughs> what are you yelling about? I want to be a munchkin. Oh, for heaven's sake. I've got to get to the studio. Will you keep quiet until I finish the story so you can go to sleep? No. Oh, you don't want to hear the end of the story? No. Well, that's fine. You want to go right to sleep? No. You don't want to hear the end of the story? You don't want to go to sleep? In heaven's name, what do you want? I want to go see the picture. Oh, well. With a new baby and everything, you have had a tough week. Now, get dressed. I'm going to take you with me. Why? Oh, just on account of the new baby. Oh, Daddy? Yes? Have another baby next week so I can go to the circus. <laughs> <laughs> All right, I'll order it right away. Come on. We're yeah. off to see the wizard, the, the wonderful, wonderful wizard of mine. <laughs>